what this country has been very comfortable with doing is always associating issues with socioeconomic status to avoid talking about race. And Voices for Health Justice allows you not to have to do that because we talk about health inequities right where they stem from. We're going into the hardest hit areas of the county. One of the head starts we were able to keep open for a year is in that area that has suffered so much neglect, systemic neglect. This past legislative session, we had two big wins for moms and babies in the state. The first was the Louisiana Pregnant Workers Fairness Act. The second is a 12 month postpartum Medicaid coverage extension. We did have a major victory, which was the Cover All Kids legislation. It's not perfection, but it is progress. The next fight is the implementation. Healthcare should not be a commodity. It should be a right. It should be universal. Knowledge is power. And by sharing credible information, we are building a real power structure that makes it harder for things to be reversed. We want to change the discourse. This project has been an avenue through which we've been able to tie experiences of systemic oppression with health outcomes. As a coalition of Voices for Health Justice, been able to travel to D.C. together and meet with the grantees. And it's been incredibly inspiring to know that there's a community that's broader who are working on the same issues. Everybody's different station in life, right, yields different healthcare interactions. Those manifestations come out and it galvanizes people to want to come together to stop it across the entire board. And that's something that we get to do in Voices for Health Justice. We lift every voice from the youngest to the most seasoned.